we tend to think about the most visible things, the hotels that are right on the coast or developments that are clearing mangroves. But there's a lot of things we do further inland where we have rivers that are carrying the sediments and the nutrients straight out to sea. These are some of the ones I think that are closest to the coast. So, you know, it is of concern with the aerial spraying. They do fungicides and the different um, pesticides that they have to spray on the, on the trees. And, uh, you know, a lot of that is, is running off into the rivers and into the sea. People are overlooking one of the most important aspects of this to protect the reef. And it's the mainland and it's the lagoon. There is a need to look at the cumulative impacts, the cumulative nature of everything which is happening in that space. Every single effect that happens out there in the jungles, you know, in the mountains, all of that trickles down to the sea and it affects our marine environment. <laughs> In this one, you can see they, they have left a buffer, the riparian buffer, so that's nice. There is a natural forest cover right along the river, but legally you're supposed to leave 66 feet. I think they've left a little more. So that looks pretty stable and safe, and you know, there's even an embankment that they're trying to keep some of the runoff from going into the river. Yeah, here's, a, here's an example where they, they didn't leave the, the buffer along the riverbank, so you can see we've got a lot of clearing right up there that's going right down to the river. Pesticides, insecticides, those things that are washing off in the river, and those interfere with the reproductive biology of corals and of lobsters. And so all of these organisms are very sensitive and sometimes very similar to the pest organisms that you're trying to kill on the mainland. Um, we have done some work in the region looking at the accumulation of these pesticides in the reef organisms and even in the humans, you know, looking at human breast milk and look, because we're eating the seafood that's building up the, the toxins and these things bioaccumulate. So, you know, there's a price to pay for all the, all the chemicals that we're using and they're, they're making the agriculture more efficient, but, you know, location is, is key and, and doing things like keeping the buffers along the river can, can really help.